Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, um, uh, you know, the digital currencies have been, uh, get, you know, uh, becoming very, very ubiquitous and um, it's been growing. Um, a lot of the, um, the, the governing banks are now talking about having their own uh, digital currencies. So, um, and, and this is on top of the fiat currencies that uh, every country has. So, uh, today I wanted to do a comparison between the two. Now, this co comparison is familiar to a lot of people. But um, what I wanted to talk about more is, um, can really digital currencies uh, exist in an economy? And, and what are the advantages that uh, customers or citizen of any country which has a digital currency uh, has uh, 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 will have over uh, 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 its own fiat currency. So that's the whole objective of this particular video. So without uh, further ado, let's dive in and let's talk about it. Before we do that, please uh, like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, please smash that notification bell under my video uh, so that you are uh, uh, informed every time I upload a new video. Um, please comment on my video so that I know what exactly you're looking at. And also, please uh, share my videos with people who you think would benefit from my research and from my videos. So, now let's uh, dive in. So first things first, as you know, I have uh, an ebook, an ebook. Uh, this particular ebook is on my journey as an entrepreneur. Uh, the book is titled Six Figure Corporate Job to Master an Entrepreneur. Uh, this particular ebook has three parts. Uh, the first part is, is talks about the time back in 2010 when I quit my um, six figure globe trotting corporate job uh, and how I prepared myself uh, for the entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial journey. So that's in the first part. The second part is talks about the, the um, challenges that I faced uh, while I was an entrepreneur, or, or I'm still an entrepreneur, I still face challenges. And the third part uh, talks about uh, the, how I overcame those challenges. Now, there is an addition to uh, those three parts which is, I put down three worksheets. Um, now, these three worksheets are essentially for the readers to, uh, you know, see how close they are to becoming a successful entrepreneur, or are they even ready to becoming an entrepreneur? So, these are um, very simple, you know, three, four questions. Uh, you, would, uh, you would be able to score yourself and see where you stand in terms of uh, becoming an entrepreneur. So, I put down uh, the, the scoring system are across three uh, three possibilities, and you will see where you you know how, how far or how close you are to becoming a successful entrepreneur. Uh, the cool thing is I scored myself, so you would also know uh, how much I scored based on my uh, mindset back in 2010 when I quit my job. Now this ebook is available to you completely free, free of charge. Uh, it's available on my website. The URL is flashing on the screen right now. I'll put it in the description box below. All you have to do is to click on it, uh, go to the page, put down your name and email address, and the link to download the ebook will be emailed to your inbox. I hope you like the book. Uh, please do give me uh, your honest feedback on the book. Now let's talk about uh, fiat currencies and, and digital currencies. So first, let's try and do a comparison. So, fiat currencies, they require a large ecosystem for printing, storing, handling, counterfeits, and so on. While there's no such requirement for large ecosystem for printing, storing, handling, and counterfeit of digital currencies. Fiat currency also creates friction, delays, settlement, and adds to economic and transaction costs. Whereas, for digital currencies, Generally, lesser frictions on delays in settlement and hence lower cost in the hands of the customers. Fiat currencies, the physical currency, serves as a very good alternative and will most likely always be retained in some form. 
Whereas for digital currencies, greater challenges during natural disasters, power failures, cyber attacks, unavailability of network, and all, and all of that. Everything to do with digital. Fiat currencies established parallel uh, economy and monetary basis with respect to classic gold standard, forex rates, conversion, capital movement, and so on for many, many, many years. At digital currency, whereas there's no such established system yet, and lack of monitoring, regulations, and compliance gaps for uh, IT money laundering and cross-border money transfer. Although it does happen, but there are regulations are still not really in place for digital currencies. Having said that, of course, like I said uh, at the beginning of this video, most uh, economies, most governments are looking to to bring their or uh, launch their own digital currencies. So um, and hopefully that will be more regulated. Obviously, the reason what is to regulate uh, the market, regulate the flow of uh, money, funds, and um, clamp down on anti-money laundering and all kinds of similar vices. Now let's try and see, uh, can digital currencies really exist in economies? So digital currencies can be used in a limited form within some tight-knit ecosystems under requisite regulation, like at airport duty-free, uh, special economic zones, some casinos, betting, wherever, whichever country they are legalized, or in small tax haven countries, again, wherever they are legalized. So they can be used in those countries. Citizens must not be exposed and be more a part of the standard currency with emphasis and rewarding digital modes of payment and or leaving a charge on physical payments. So, um, so that's the that's the objective uh, for digital currency, uh, and hence there's an advantage. However, this must be done with adequate uh, development infrastructure, resources, and policies to support. Obviously, that's very much needed. The cross uh, currency movement uh, between digital currencies and fiat currencies must be tightly monitored, restricted, or directed all in line with regulations and compliance like uh, AML, IT money laundering, convertibility, and so on and so forth. Both the systems must be monitored to avoid any risk of inflation, asset bubbles, social imbalance, malpractices, and criminal acts. So obviously these are very, very crucial and must be monitored. Citizen today are more familiar with the fiat currencies, hence familiarizing them with those uh, digital currencies and crypto uh, will help run the two parallel systems efficiently. So, in my opinion, to summarize, it, there is a possibility, and I think that's going to happen pretty much soon, that there will be two parallel economies which will both be regulated by the uh, uh, central bank of the government or the governing bank of the, the country as well as the, uh, the government in most modern, efficient, uh, successful countries. Uh, and um, how well they monitor is a question mark, but they will have to monitor them well, just like they do for phys, uh, fiat currencies and the transactions. So in my opinion, both have their own pros and cons. And if you are able to, uh, you know, strike a, a right balance between the two in terms of transactions and usages, then the economies of those countries will definitely uh, benefit from uh, these two modes of currencies. However, I would I would keep talking about uh, regulation, which is very very critical. I did a video on uh, you know FATF, how FATF uh, is. Um, uh, is, is weighing down on cryptocurrencies, especially with the lack of um, uh, regulations from SEC and uh, the Fed in the US especially, uh, because uh, FTF is responsible to monitor uh, the uh, anti-money laundering or um, you know, uh, 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 funds going 
um, you know, wrong, it would weigh into wrong hands in, um, in multiple countries. So I did that video um, some time ago. I'll put a link to the video in the card above. Uh, go take a look at it and see what the, uh, what the as what SEC is talking about, what Fed is saying about uh, regularizing or regulating the uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, in, towards the end of this video, I will also put a video uh, on uh, Janet Allen, J uh, sorry, not uh, 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 Elizabeth Warner, uh, uh, she's a senator, and what she's talking, her concerns on cryptocurrencies. So I hope you will like those two videos. So, well, thank you very much. Thank you for listening to me. As you know, my name is Saurabh Mukherjee, I'm a digital and technology marketing leader with over 20 years of global experience. Uh, I will put on my LinkedIn URL in the description box below. Click on it, you will get to know about me, my career, and, and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. I regularly work with uh, clients where I try and solve their business, marketing, technological, and investment challenges. Uh, if you are looking to engage with me as your consultant in your company, please uh, drop me a line on LinkedIn, or you could write me in the contact page of my website. I'll put the link to the contact page of my website in the description box below. Then we can jump into a conference call and see how we can work together. So finally, before I go, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, please smash that notification bell, please uh, comment on my videos, and please share my videos with people who you think will benefit from my videos. So until next time, uh, please stay safe and stay healthy, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.